That fall, Republicans won three-fourths of the seats in both houses of Congress, enough to override any Johnson veto. In only 18 months, the radicals had gone from a fringe minority to the center of Republican leadership. Now it was their turn to define the course of Reconstruction. Thaddeus Stevens was 75 years old, so frail that he had to be carried into the House of Representatives by admirers. In a voice his colleagues could barely hear, the tireless Stevens made a final plea for federal intervention in the southern states. Congress has been sitting here, and while the South has been bleeding at every pore, Congress has done nothing to protect the loyal people there, white or black, either in their persons, in their liberty, or in their property. In March 1867, both houses of Congress again rejected a veto by President Johnson and passed the Radicals' Reconstruction Plan. The former Confederate states were divided into five military districts, each commanded by a general with power to enforce law and administer justice. New Southern governments would be created. They would have to ratify the 14th Amendment their new state constitutions would have to be approved by Congress. And black men would have the right to vote. This really was a remarkable leap in the dark for world history. It's the first large-scale experiment in interracial democracy that had existed anywhere. 